Cheatham's Library in Manchester, England was founded in 1653, making it the oldest public library in Britain. The building that houses the library is even older, dating to 1421. Humphrey Cheatham commissioned the library in his will in addition to a school for poor boys. After his death, the executors of his will traveled around the country buying valuable books to fill the library. He valued education highly, and his will stated that it would require nothing of any man to cometh into the library. It's quite um, the thing to do in Victorian <laughs> times. That's someone's actual, it looks like a mould of his face. It is a mould of his face. Oh. There's a plaster cast of your rel dead relative's face. After oh, weird. Um, because obviously they had no photographs on them. Right. <laughs> well, I guess. And then you could put Uncle on the uh, bookcase. I would paint it. I'd do the makeup. Not. Originally, the books were chained to the shelf. The hook went into the front of the book to keep the spine intact. And scholars would carry these stools to the aisle and read there during daylight hours. These books were to be um, godly books written in English for the edification of the common man. And these books all date from before 1655. The bookcases in the last image were given up to local parishes so that common people could enjoy the books too, if they could read of course, and bits of the Communist Manifesto were also written in this library. Nowadays, the library offers tours, they hold concerts, and you can even book in appointments to read the books. This is hands down my favorite library in Manchester. It is definitely worth a visit.